Unwrapping the layers of rice cake in English. Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're going to unwrap the meaning behind the phrases rice cake in English. This might seem like a simple topic, but you'll be surprised at how such a simple phrase can have different layers of meaning. Whether you're an English language learner or simply curious about the nuances of English, this video is for you. Let's dive in and explore the rich context behind rice cake. First, let's talk about the most obvious meaning. A rice cake is quite literally a cake made of rice. These can be sweet or savory, dense or light, and they are common in many Asian cuisines. In some cultures, rice cakes are a staple snack, often enjoyed for their light texture and neutral taste, making them a perfect vehicle for other flavors like cheese, meats, or jam. Moving beyond the straightforward definition, rice cake holds significant cultural value in various parts of the world. For example, in Korea, TTEOK, rice cake, is a traditional food that plays a central role in ceremonies, festivities, and everyday life. Meanwhile, in Japan, mochi, a type of rice cake, is often eaten during New Year's celebrations. This layer of meaning opens up conversations about tradition, culture, and the role food plays in social and family life. Interestingly, the term rice cake doesn't have a widespread metaphorical or idiomatic use in English, unlike many other food-related phrases. It is usually meant to be taken literally. However, discussing this phrase gives us a chance to talk about how food terms can sometimes represent more abstract concepts in other contexts. Let's put rice cake into some sentences. For breakfast, I had a rice cake topped with avocado. The festival had all sorts of food, but the rice cakes were my favorite. Notice how rice cake is used as a noun, and it can be modified with adjectives or other descriptors to convey specific types of rice cakes. And that's a wrap on rice cake. We've looked at the literal meaning, cultural significance, and how it's used in sentences. We hope you now have a better understanding of this phrase and feel confident using it in your own conversations. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.